In this video I'm going to give you some intuition regarding the A-star algorithm. The A-star algorithm is a heuristic algorithm for computing the shortest path from one given start node to one given goal node. We need a distance graph with relative distance information between all the nodes plus the lower bound distance to the goal from each node. And This distance can be an airline, a linear distance or Euclidean distance coming from GPS. The algorithm works as follows. It maintains a sorted list of paths to the goal and in every step we expand only the currently shortest path by adding the adjacent node with the shortest distance. Let's see how this works. In this example we are going to find the shortest distance from the start node S to the goal node B. When we look at S we can see that S is connected to three different nodes. S is connected to node A, S is also connected to node C, and the last node is D. We now need to go and find the shortest distance to each one of those nodes. Looking at S to A, we will see that the arc distance is 10, so we add the arc distance between S and A together with the node value of A, which is 1, that gives us a total distance value of 12. Between S and C, once again we take the arc value which is 5, we add that to the node value of C which is 3 and that gives us a total distance value of 8. From node S to node D we have an arc value of 9 and a base value or a node value of 5 for a total, total distance value of 14. So this is the first step. Next we need to go and select the path that we have with the shortest distance. And we can see that the path starting at S and then going to node C has a distance of 8. So this is the path that we are now going to explore further. If we are at node C there's three nodes that are connected to node C and we need to explore all three of those parts. So for the second step it's S, C and node A, S and C and node B, S and C and node D. Those are the three paths that we now need to explore. In order for us to calculate the distance value for each one of these paths, we add the arc distances between the nodes as well as the node value of the last node. So the arc distance between S and C is 5. The arc distance between C and A is 3. And the node value of A is 1. And that gives us a total distance of 9 units. In order to calculate the distance of path S, C and B, we add the arc distance between S and C, which is 5. The arc distance between C and B, which in this case is 9. As well as the node value. Well, B has a node value of 0 since it's the goal, so we add a 0 in there. 5 plus 9 gives us 14. For the last path going from S to C to D, we add the arc distance of 5, which is the distance between S and C. We add the arc distance between C and D, which is 2. And we also add the node value of D, which is 5. This will give us a total of 12 distance units. Once again, we go and look and we go and find the path with the shortest distance and this in this in this case it will be SCA and we start the process again so if we are in location A there is essentially only one route that we can go A can we can't we can't go back so the only node that is connected to A which we have not yet explored is node B in order for us now to calculate the distance for this specific path, S, C, A and B, we add the node 
sorry, we add the arc distance from S to C. The arc distance from S to C is 5. We add the arc distance from C to A, which is 3. We add the arc distance from A to B, which is 1. And then obviously we need to add the node value of B. In this case it is 0. And that gives us a total distance of 9. This now tells us that the shortest path from node S to node B is via node C, A, and then to B. And this will give us a total distance value of 9.